Lesson 3.1, Solving Quadratic Equations. How do you solve a quadratic equation by graphing and algebraically? We first need to have a factoring refresher, a quick review. So greatest common factor. If I have two terms, then that means I should look at the prime factorization for two terms. So prime factorizing 12K, prime factorization of 12 is 2 times 2 times 3, because 2 times 2 times 3 gives me 12, and those are all the prime numbers. Prime factorizing K is just K. Prime factorizing negative 18. The only number allowed to be negative is 1. So I have negative 1 times prime factorizing 18 is 2 times 3 times 3. So these are the prime factorizations for each term. To find the GCF, it's what the two terms have in common. So this list has a 2 and this list has a 2, which means right down here I'm going to say that they have a 2 in common as a GCF. I also see a 3 in each list, so there's also a 3 in common in each list. I see nothing else in common. So what did they have in common here? I saw a 2 and a 3, which means I had a 6 in common. So my GCF was a 6. So I am going to pull out the GCF of a 6. So here is me saying, hey, they had a GCF in common. But now I need to have a parenthesis of what was left behind. And what was left behind is what's in each list. List 1 gets its own and list 2 gets its own. So I need a list 1 and I need a list 2 of leftovers. So I see a 2 and a k. 2 times k is 2k. And then I see a negative 1 and a 3. Negative 1 times 3 was the negative 3. So I saw that they had a 6 in common. And when I divided a 6 out of each, I had a 2k minus 3. This is how we go over it in Algebra 1. Check yourself. 6 times 2k is a 12k. 6 times a negative 3 is a negative 18. So you know that you factored correctly. Let's go ahead and do that again. Problem number 2. I have two terms. So if I have two terms, that means I need two prime factorization lists. 40 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. x to the 8 meant there were 8 x's. And then you have your y. Prime factorizing 64, you've got 2 times 2 times 2, times 2 times 2 times 2. X to the 4th meant there were 4 X's, and then you had your Y. So looking for my GCF, what do we have in common? I see that I have a group of 2's, another 2's, and another 2's. So I see that I have 3 groups of 2 in common. I see that I have one, two, three, four groups of x in common. If I have four groups of x in common, you write that as x to the fourth. And I see I have one group of y in common, so I had one y. So two times two times two is eight times x to the fourth y. This is my GCF. If that's my GCF, I now need to figure out whatever my leftovers are. Because there's two lists, that meant that I needed two groups of leftovers. List 1 had a 5, and I see all of these x's. So list 1 had 5x to the 4th. Group 2, I see all of these 2's and no variables. So I have 2 times 2 times 2, which is an 8. So this is my answer. Now we just need to check it. 8 times 5 was the original 40. x to the 4th times x to the 4th was x to the 8th. And then you have the y. So term 1 checks out. 8 times 8 is 64. The x to the 4th y was the x to the 4th y. So this is our GCF. There are two other problems here. I would like you to do them for independent practice.